Um, all right, Misha says, uh, any tips for those who are scrupulous? Yeah, so I think the first thing to do in regard to scrupulosity is to distinguish what's called scrupulosity and a delicate conscience. So scrupulosity and a delicate conscience are, are both situations of the soul in which there can be, uh, or th there's this recognition of even small faults. That is not necessarily a bad thing. Sometimes people will say, oh, you're so scrupulous because you recognize small sins and you don't want to commit them. That's a good thing. That's actually called having a delicate conscience. And the saints oftentimes had delicate consciences from a young age. Um, that means that they recognized what was evil and they chose not to do it, even if it was just a little bit evil. That's a good thing. And so if that's your situation, don't fight against it. Even if people are like, oh, you're being scrupulous. No, you're, <laughs> you're trying to be a saint. That's a good thing. Um, if that kind of delicacy of conscience, that recognition of those small sins is causing an anxiety and a fear and a, an inability to fulfill the will of God, and, and, and it creates a lack of trust in God's mercy, then that's what scrupulosity is. Scrupulosity is this kind of um, inability to distinguish clearly between mortal and venial sin. So, um, you know, a person who has a delicate conscience recognizes even where venial sins are and doesn't want to commit them. However, if the person falls into a venial sin, it isn't crippling to them. They don't think, oh my gosh, I've committed a mortal sin. I'm going to hell. I'm never going to be forgiven. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. They don't think that. They think, oh, that was a sin. I shouldn't have done that. Well, I'll go to confession. Right? That's the healthy way to look at these um, small faults. A scrupulous person will commit a small fault, a venial sin, and they will say, oh my gosh, I committed a sin. It's probably a mortal sin. Oh my gosh, I'm going to hell. I have to go to confession. I can't receive communion. Oh my gosh. Right? That's, that's scrupulosity. Um, and then also scrupulosity can be a kind of doubt as to the eth efficaciousness of the sacrament of confession, where we almost think that our sins are so big that God can't forgive them through the sacrament of confession. Um, and so that is actually, a, it's a form of doubt uh, is, is what it really comes down to. And so the best way to deal with if you have true scrupulosity is first off, meditate on um, the images in the scriptures of, of God's loving forgiveness. Spend some time meditating and praying with um, the the parable of the prodigal son. Um, Let the children come to me. Um, the the woman who was caught in adultery. You know those types of scenes. Uh, spend time with those and recognize God's great mercy towards us. The next thing to do is to really study well, what is a venial sin and what is a mortal sin. Make sure you have a good understanding of that so that you, whenever you do get into that anxious moment, you can apply your mind and know which is which. If those don't work, what you really need to do is go and talk to a spiritual director. And the, the way to ultimately heal scrupulosity is through strict obedience to your spiritual director in which your spiritual director will say, look, if you do this, 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 or this, that's a mortal sin that you know you reasonably could fall into, knowing your personality. If that happens, get your tail to confession immediately. If not, it's not a mortal sin. You are not to freak out about it. You are to still receive communion, and you are to live your life as if you had not committed a mortal sin, and just trust. Um, and so that's essentially, if you read any of the, the spiritual manuals, that's what it says to the spiritual directors. Like, look, you just need to be strong with someone who's really struggling with scrupulosity. Um, so those are kind of the things to do. Hopefully that, that helps.